Boiler feed water pumps are manufactured, designed, and tailor fitted for each boiler operation's needs. So it's important to make sure you properly size your boiler feed pumps. In this video, we'll talk about the factors you need to consider when sizing your boiler feed pumps. This is a short synopsis of the main art. Get the full details and read what you need to know to properly size boiler feed water pumps. The link is in the description. The first thing to consider when sizing a boiler feed water pump is the information on the feed water or fluids. Two crucial pieces of information are the fluid's temperature and the chemical composition. When selecting your boiler feed water pump, you need to know the temperature range of the desired fluid. Pumping of high temperature fluids means the boiler feed pump must be equipped with auxiliary cooling. Chemicals are sometimes added to the feed water to produce a relatively pure vapor. Information on the chemical additives is important to know what type of material you will need for your boiler feed pumps. Next, you'll need to know the pump's capacity and pressure and the head required for your boiler. A boiler's pump capacity describes its flow rate. Knowing the maximum and minimum flow rate can determine the boiler feed water size you need. Once you determine the required head, a pump can be selected with the correct amount of stages to meet the requirement. The net positive suction head, NPSH, measures how much pressure is at the suction nozzle of the pump. The NPSHA, or net positive suction head available, is a measure of how much pressure on the pump to deliver the fluid. The NPSHR, or net positive suction head required, is a measure of how much pressure is needed to keep the pump from cavitating. Cavitation is when rapid changes of pressure in a liquid lead to forming small vapor-filled cavities in the boiler feed pump, which leads to more damage. Suction piping diameter and design highly affect the MPSH. The wrong size or design can lead to the poor performance of the boiler pump and its failure. When you set the size of the boiler pump, the installation site should be a factor. Boiler feed pumps need regular inspection and maintenance. There should be enough space and headroom to perform these tasks. In addition, the area should be a dry location with adequate drainage. Additional specifications can help your pump manufacturer guide you on the size, material, type, and other design factors of your boiler feed pump. Some questions you need to consider. Do you need special materials for your pumps and components? How will the pump be operated? How often do you need to open or close valves? What standards or certifications are required for your pump, i.e. ANSI, API, quality certifications? There are more questions you can check on the main article. The link's in the description. All this information is what you need to know so you can properly size your boiler feed pumps. You can use the Carver Pump Pump Selection Tool to get started. You can sign up and start using it immediately. Start by inputting the flow rate, total head, and static heads in the fields. If you have other information, you can input them too. Once you've entered all the data, it will return with the list of pumps that fits. You can select the size and curves of the pump you need. Don't forget, it's essential that you talk to a pump expert so they can guide you with all your pump needs. Also, get your boiler feed pumps from a trusted manufacturer. Carver Pump has over 80 years of experience in creating the best high-quality ISO 9001 certified pumps in America. Carver Pump has two boiler feed pumps, the RS and RSV. These feed water pumps are versatile and high quality pumps. Find out more about Carver Pump at carverpump.com.